Guys, I think a key thing when you work with my six-year-old, positivity, positivity, positivity. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Drill it into him all the time. I'm trying my best not to overcoach. I want him to just try and learn as, as he's going along. Right, guys, I'm here with young Jacob, all the way from Melbourne. Jacob is six years old, and I know that this is a heavily requested video that I've been meaning to do for a long time, but how I coach younger players, that's what we're gonna put through Jacob today. Jacob, what I'm gonna look at today is I'm gonna just do the most basic stuff, but how well and how good can you do the basic stuff? And that's what makes really good players. All right, are you ready to go? All right, give me your knuckles. If you enjoyed this content, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It is free. And if you really, really enjoyed this, then the Jonah Football app is for you. It's for coaches and players. Link below. Don't go on the app store. Click the link below. Start your seven-day free trial, and I'll see you over there. Enjoy the video. We're going to start in this red box here, Jacob. And all I want you to do is just take this ball, Jacob, and dribble around for me. Off you go, staying inside the red box. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Little touches, good. Don't go out the red box, Jacob. The box is over here. Good. Stay in this little red box, good. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Nice, nice. I'm just looking at your dribbling. You can go as many times as you want in this red box. Try and find the space. Look for the space. Good, good. Little touches, beautiful. Stay in the red box for me. Stay in the red box. Good. Nice. The first thing I've picked up with you is you need to just slow it down a little bit and think a little bit more about your technique. In here, the way we run with the ball should be with our little toe. Little toe, step, little toe, step. So just stay, I'm always gonna use the outside of my foot. See that? If I wanna use left, just in here. All right, that's all I want you to focus on is using this part of your foot, your little toe. So you just come on the side a little bit, touch, play, touch, boom, touches, touches, touches. See how I'm in a nice low position? So another thing that I've noticed, Jacob, your head is down all the time. So then you're not too sure where the red box is. So from time to time, Jacob, okay, I need you to look up and just have a quick look at where your space is. So you might go touch, look around, touch. So I, if I see that I'm about to get out the red box, I don't, I keep it nice and close. So I always know by looking around, left foot might turn there, back to the left, right. So I'm constantly looking around, moving. I'm still using this part of my foot, okay? Good, Jacob, that's better. Good, just relax that right arm a little bit. Nice, nice, always stay in the red box. Good, good. Nice, Jacob, keep the speed though. Keep the speed, good. So look at the ball, look up. Look at the ball, look up, good. But you've got to keep your speed, keep the speed, come on. Speed, 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 speed. Nice, nice. All right, Jacob, great start. You do need a little bit of work with just making your dribbling look a little bit more natural. So I want you to practice what I just taught you there, which is using your little toe, touch, 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 being a little bit half side on and trying to run it with natural speed, okay? That was good. Next part of the session is just work on some simple, basic, fast feet exercises and knowing how to move your feet is going to help you with your dribbling further down the line, okay? So all I've done, I'm going to put just four cones really tight in a line. And all we're going to do, Jacob, to start off with, we're going to face me as the coach, and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two feet in each gap, and I want to see how you balance your coordination, your fast feet, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, last one and rest, good. The next thing I want you to do, so wider feet, wider feet, not too wide, bring them in. Bend your knees, good. Now the, your head cannot go in front of your toes like that. So see how you were doing that? And you were losing your balance. So what I want you to do, watch me. Rather than being there, I need you to be there. Bend your knee, toes, and we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Close to the cones. Don't let your head go in front of your toes, okay? Three, two, one, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Keep your posture up straight. Nice. Watch where you're putting your feet. Go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Watch where you're putting your feet, Jacob. Nice. Look at where you're putting your feet. Play. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, keep going, two more, two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey! How much better was that? Now, <laughs> don't always focus on looking at me. This is just a fast feet exercise. You can actually look at where you're putting your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rest, amazing. Now, I need to fix the way you have your arms. So your arms are like very stiff. Relax the arms, three, two, one, play. Oh, now it looks better, play. Don't wait for me, just keep going until I say stop. Now it looks better. Remember your head, posture, keep it back, play. Good, good. That's it, Jacob, watch where you're putting your feet. Arms, arms, go, go, five more, five more. Five, good. Four, that's better, come on, arms, arms, arms. Three, good, two, good, watch the cones. Last one, one, rest. Okay, so now we're incorporating fast feet with the ball, yeah? Really, really important. So what you're having to do now, Jacob, your brain has to think about two things. It has to think about the fast feet and it has to think about the pass. But what I want you to focus a little bit more on now is just making sure that it's a good quality pass back to me. So on this side, always gonna use your left foot there. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards and then on this side you're always going to use your right foot make sure we're hitting the middle of the ball so I don't want the ball going in the air when you're passing it back to me is lift your foot a little bit more off the ground like this swing through and then the ball's going to roll lovely on the ground fast feet keep my eye on the ball play middle of the ball three two one play good JK Great pass, play. Good, left side. Yes, what a pass that is. Okay, put your left foot there for me. Bend your knee. Now when you play a pass, most of the time, what part of the foot do we use? Inside, good. So what I want you to do, point your foot, bend your knee. This arm comes out for balance. Open the foot right out, that's it. This needs to bend too, nice and relaxed. This foot needs to be opened out so that you can get it right in the middle of the ball there. So middle of your foot here, middle of the ball there, and that's how you're gonna get a good consistent pass every time. Go, inside, that is beautiful, play. Let's go, come on, that was beautiful. Same again with your left foot. Beautiful, come on, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Okay, Jakey, so we've looked a little bit at dribbling, we've looked a little bit at fast feet, and I've done a little bit of passing there. So we're gonna do a little bit of passing and first touching here and then we're gonna finish with a little bit of shooting. So then I've tried to give you some tips on everything, okay? Play Jacob, can you control it? Play the board, control, play me. Now Jacob, I don't know if you've noticed, I was controlling it with my left, playing it with my right, controlling it with my right, playing it with my left. You ready, jump in, play, receive, play, good. Bang, so take two touch there. I always want you to control it and then pass it. Yeah, JK. So guys, with six-year-olds, passing in first touch is very, very hard. This is why I always say the dribbling, the dribbling is something that you want to be constantly reinforcing. Passing in first touch is a big, big challenge. Ready, three, two, one, play. Control, good, play. Control again, and then play, good, that's one. Go again, play. Control, I want you to control it every time. Always control. Stop the ball, nice, play. Good, stop the ball, play, good. That's two in a row. Bang, stop the ball. Good, play, stop the ball, lucky. Stop the ball, play, good. Stop the ball, play, good, nice. Control, play, control, play. Good, Jakey, sort your feet out, so you need to be able to move your feet. Good, high five. Good, you go the coach. Okay, one thing I noticed you, Jakey, you just want all, you always want to use your right foot, so the, your strong foot, you use that way too much. You need to try and get used to using this one too, which is nothing wrong with it. Play Jake, is you like to control it with the bottom of your foot, which is completely fine. But I want to teach you a different way how to control it. What I want you to do, Jake, I want you to control it with this foot every time. So whenever you get it from me, you control it with this one. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. So if, if the ball's coming from me, you're not allowed to control it with this one. You've got to try and do it with this one and then play. Okay, good. Three, two, one, play. Ah, go again, go again, back to me. Good play, control it with that left foot. 
Which foot do I want you to control it with? Good, ready, three, two, one, play. Yes! Play, good, like you can still pass it with your right foot though. Play, set, play, set. Good, Jakey, call for the ball, call for the ball. Good, left foot, good, good. Now, play. There's nothing wrong with controlling the ball like this, but for this drill, it's quite hard. You're not allowed to control the ball now with the bottom of your foot. You have to control it with the inside. The reason why it's better to go with the inside is because it makes my next step a lot easier. Because the next step is the board. It's so important in football. Control, what's the next step? Three, two, one, plate, control. Yes, yes, unlucky, carry on. Again, toes, plate, board. Board, good. That's probably your best one. Toes, drop deep, play, set. JK, ah, so what are you doing with your pass? You're kicking it where on the ball? Are you, are you kicking it underneath, middle or top? Middle. No. So how come that ball's ended up there? What did you do wrong? I kicked it at the top. No, you kicked it on the bottom. So when you kick it on the bottom, it goes high. You ready? We need to kick it in the middle. Toes, 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 play. Yes, where's the board? Good, good, toes, 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 good. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, another thing when you're coaching young players, their attention span at this age is maximum half an hour, 45 minutes. Some players less than that. So it's really important that you don't get frustrated because I can't even concentrate for 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> don't expect like four, five and six year olds to concentrate for a long period of time. So these type of drills for six year olds are not easy. It's something that yes, you want to focus on for sure. They're really, really important. But with these kids, it's about enjoying it. It's about smiles on faces. It's really, really good. It's so important to not get frustrated with players like this. They're still learning the game. So, Jakey, you ready for some shooting? Yes. Everyone loves shooting, don't they? Jakey, you're doing so well, mate. We've looked at dribbling. We've looked at fast feet, passing in first touch. Now I want to look at your shooting. So a little bit of fun to start off with. Is I'm just going to roll it to the green line. You're going to run onto it and I want you to shoot. And I want it in that far corner every single time. Right. Do you think you can do that? Yep. Okay, come and stand here. All I'm going to do, I roll the ball to the green line. Right. You shoot, you get back to me here, and then we do it again. Right. Let's do five or six to start off. Ready? Go! Just... Hit that, JK! Great kick, man. Back to me, come on. Back to me. Go again. Good. Back to me, come on. Go on, JK. Good. Last one. Finish! Shoot! Good, and rest. How many? Five. Five? So remember, what I'm about to tell you now needs to try, you need to try and remember it, okay? Ideally, whenever we shoot, we shouldn't fall over. So if you're shooting the ball and you're falling over after it, your technique's not right. And to stop that from happening, when you're running up to the ball, the foot that you're not kicking it with, which is your left, needs to be right next to the ball when you kick it. So if that's still rolling and you put your foot here and then you go to kick it, you're gonna fall over. So to avoid falling over, you need to focus on your left foot being in line with it. Okay, so when I'm in here, I come in and then I shoot. So that's the first coaching point. Stay on your feet when you hit the ball. Ready, go. Good, can we get it in that corner? Better, better. That was better because your left foot was better, yeah? Play. Good. Good, almost fell over there. Get that left foot closer to the ball. Not bad, there's that little fall over. All right, so, see the far corner there, that, that corner? Yeah. That's where I want you to get it. So that's what we're gonna work on. So whatever your to toes are pointing, that gives you kind of an indication where you wanna go. So if your toes are pointing that way, that's a good chance where, they, where it's gonna go. Yeah. Okay, this arm comes out for balance. You need to bend this knee. Now, what I want you to focus on, you see where you're facing? That's giving you a better chance now to get it in that corner. If you're already facing the corner there, it's harder to get it in that corner. So what you have to do is face away and then shoot, okay? You see on that last one, you were leaning back so then you ended up falling. Try and lean over the ball so that you kick it and then you follow through nice. Ready, play. 
Good. Beautiful. Keep your hips facing away from the goal. Good. That's better. Unlucky. Good. Kick it hard. Beautiful, Jake. Kick it hard. Yes. Look at this now. Yes. Ah, there's that. What was wrong with that, Jake? I fell down. Yeah, so why did you fall down? You lean back, good, and where did you put your left foot? Was it next to the ball or not? No. No, and that's why you fell back. Because then for anyone out there that's coaching their sons or whatever, right? What started to happen then when I, when I raised my voice to say, kick it harder, he was then following through a lot more natural. And that's just a simple coaching point. So because I raised my voice and I said, kick it harder, he was actually hitting the ball lovely. Not a hard coaching point, it's just a coaching point that I even give some of the pros that we work with is, it's a very weird coaching point. But when it comes to shooting, you wanna get, you wanna get angry, you wanna strike the ball clean, fast, hard. Especially if you're outside the box, the ball needs to travel quickly. So a simple coaching point is I say, get angry, you know, get that fire in your belly and then you strike the ball a lot cleaner. And then I did that with Jake and a lot of his shots then were so much better. Guys, that's the video. Again, just with these young players, it's about being patient. It's all about being positive. At the end of the day, it's the beautiful game. That's what it is. Everyone plays the beautiful game because they love it. So it needs to stay that way. Guys, I just forgot about one more thing as well, which is really important because I might get a lot of people watching this video. The best thing for four, five, six, seven year olds is let them play. Let them play games. That's really, really important, you know. Obviously, I'm doing a one on one session here with young Jakey, trying to give him tips, but I think at that age, if I overload him with tips, he's, they're never going to learn that these kids can't remember everything. So, the best thing for that age is let them play, let them enjoy it, don't overcoach them. And then eventually when they get a little bit older, you can go into a bit more detail. Inside the Journal Football app, we have a section dedicated to, for beginners. And it's great. I'm going to reiterate a lot of the stuff we've done today. So there's a full section inside the app for beginners. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to try our app, link below. Don't go on the app store and type Jonah Football. You won't find it. You need to just go through the link in the description and I'll see you over there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Top bins.